Devotion to the Mother of Sorrow's Prayers From the little book, Devotion to the Sorrowful Mother Prayer before a picture of the Sorrowful Mother O most loving Mother of my Lord Jesus Christ, thou who does never reject nor despise anyone who turns to thee with a contrite heart, nor refuse to console the afflicted, behold, poor and sinful. I draw near to thy holy image with deep devotion and beseech thee to obtain for me the grace to honor and love thee with all my strength. O merciful heart of Mary, let me obtain mercy from thee as so many sinners already have obtained it for that is thy heart O mary but what a heart of mercy how is it possible then that grace could be refused to anyone who implored it implore it from this seat of mercy most tender and compassionate mother though knowest how much an afflicted heart is it want of compassion because the intensity of thy suffering was so great that all mankind together would have been incapable of supporting it oh what unutterable bitterness filled thy soul when thou didst contemplate the disfigured form of thy beloved son when thou didst receive his mangled and lifeless body into thy virginal arms and pressing it tenderly to thy maternal heart, didst embrace it countless times, didst bedew it with a stream of burning tears, and finally didst rest thine agonizing heart on the wounded brow of thy Jesus. I recall to thy mind this thine inexpressible anguish, and beseech thee to obtain for me the pardon of my sins, O Mary, Intercede for me with Jesus, whom thou didst bear it, thine arms, or Jesus, O Mary, by thine unutterable suffering, have pity on me, a miserable sinner, a dearest Jesus, show to thy heavenly Father all the wounds and anguish which thou didst bear for me. O sweet virgin, show him all the tears which thou didst shed for me, O son, O mother, show him all the agony, all the anguish of heart, which thou didst endure for me. O Mary, I beseech thee through this most painful mystery of thy dolors, pains, obtain mercy for me from God the Father, and taking the, the mangled and dead body of thy beloved son into thy maternal arms, offer him to the eternal father in the same manner as thou didst once offer to him his pure side and thy own broken heart his bitter sufferings and thy painful compassion his and thy burning tears his and thy sight in a word everything which jesus and thou didst suffer upon earth that through this same sufferings thou mayest obtain mercy and pardon for me Amen. Prayer to Our Lady, Comforter of the Afflicted. Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our most compassionate Mother, we present ourselves in thy sight in all humility, with all confidence. We implore thee for thy maternal patronage. Thou hast been proclaimed by, whole, by the Holy Church, the Comforter of the Afflicted, and to the constant recourse it had by the sorrowful in their afflictions, the sick in their maladies, the dying in their agony, the poor in their straitened circumstances, those who stand in all manner of need in both public and pi private calamities, and from thee they all receive consolation and strength. Our dearest mother, turn upon us also, sinners, that we are thy merciful eyes and graciously accept our humble and confident prayers aid us in all our spiritual and temporal necessities deliver us from all evil and especially from sin which is the greatest evil and from all the danger of falling into it 
obtain for us from thy son, Jesus, every blessing of which thou seest. We stand in need, both in soul and in body, and especially the greatest blessing of all, which is divine grace. Comfort our spirit, troubled and afflicted in the midst of many dangers that threaten us and in the countless miseries and misfortunes that beset us on every side. This we ask through the immense joy which fills thy pure soul in the glorious resurrection of thy divine Son. Obtain tranquility for Holy Church, help and comfort for her visible head, the Roman pontiff peace for Christian pe princes, refreshment in their pains, for the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners, the forgiveness of their sins, and for the just, persevere in well-doing. Receive us all, our most tender mother, under thy loving and mighty protection, that we may be unable to live virtuously, die holily, and attain to everlasting happiness in heaven. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of Sorrows. Prayer to Jesus and Mary. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord Jesus Christ, that the most blessed Virgin Mary, thy mother, whose most holy soul was transfixed with swords of sorrow in the hour of thy passion, may intercede for us before the throne of mercy, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Imprint, O Lady, thy wounds upon my heart, that I may read there in sorrow and love sorrow to endure every sorrow for thee love to despise every love for thee amen prayer to mary queen of martyrs mary most holy virgin and queen of martyrs accept the sincere homage of the filial affection into my heart into your heart pierced by so many swords though do Welcome, my poor soul. Receive it as the companion of thy sorrow at the front and at the foot of the cross on which Jesus died for the redemption of the world. With thee, O sorrowful virgin, I will gladly suffer all the trials, contradictions, and infirmities which it, it shall please our Lord to send me. I offer them all to thee in memory of thy sorrows so that every thought of mine and every beat of my heart may be an act of companion and of love for thee. And though do, sweet mother, have pity on me, reconcile me to thine divine son, Jesus. Keep me in his grace and assist me in my last agony so that I may be able to meet thee in heaven and to sing thy glories. Amen. Prayer of union with the church and the Holy Father, most holy virgin and mother, whose soul was pierced by a sword of sorrow in the passion of your divine son and who in his glorious resurrection was filled with never ending joy at his triumphant. Obtain for us who call upon thee so to be partakers in the adversities of Holy Church and the sorrow of the sovereign pontiff us to be found worthy to rejoice with them in the consolation for which we pray in the charity and peace of the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady, help of Christians. Mother of mercy, help of Christians, most faithful ministers of divine providence, treasurer of all graces, remember that never in the world has it been heard that thou has left without comfort one of who has come to thee with true devotions. Therefore, wherefore, trusting in thy tender pity and in thy most generous providence, I bend low before thee, praying that thou would hear my prayer, obtain for me a holy provision for the future, namely graces for all my spiritual and temporal needs. I fervently recommend to thy loving motherly heart our holy church, the sovereign pontiff, the conversion of sinners, the spread of the Catholic faith, and those souls chosen by our Lord 
who for suffering the tormenting flames of purgatory, that they may soon be comforted with eternal refreshment. Amen. Offering of the merits of the Blessed Virgin Mary to appease the divine justice. Many favors have been obtained by reciting the following offering. In order to appease thy divine assist justice, we offer thee, O Lord, the merits acquired by Mary, thy mother, and ours when she stood at the foot of the cross. If thou, O Lord, wilt mark iniquities, Lord, who can, who can stand? The rosary of the seven dollars. This rosary consists of seven groups of seven beads, which group being preceded by the by a medal on the medal is recited the our father and on the bead the hail mary while reflecting at the same time on one of the seven pains or sorrows and at the conclusion of the seven mysteries three hail marys may be said or you can say it at the beginning in honor of the sorrowful tears of mary and in the description box i will have a link to the chaplet of the seven sorrows and together we continue praying our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. This book booklet, I will have the link to the other videos from this booklet, because this booklet explained many things about Our Lady's sorrow that most Catholics have never even thought about, drawing on sacred scripture and holy traditions derived from the lives and sayings of the saints. This booklet outlines the four special favors promised to those devoted to the sorrow, to the sorrows of Mary, plus it lists the seven promises made to those who meditate on Our Lady's tears and dollars, also included or many prayers to the Sorrowful Mother, such as the Stava Mater, the Litany of the Sorrowful Mother, and the Seven Beautiful and, and Seven Beautiful Prayers, to be said while meditating on the Seven Sorrowful, um, Seven Sorrows of Mary. Particularly highlighted is the special help that our sorrowful mother brings to her devotees at the hour of death, which is the most decisive moment of one's entire life. Our Lady will surely be pleased with those who turn their hearts toward the seven sorrows. Mary leaves nothing unrewarded that is done in her honor, and those who pray to our sorrowful mother may be, may be doubly confident of receiving the promised special graces over all the mission of this little book and these videos is to explain how to grow in love with our sorrowful mother and how to obtain the incredible favors she has promised us may the lord bless you and those who you love and those of you that were born on the feast day of our sorrowful mother which is september 15 congratulations that is a beautiful day to be born. And also, would you mind passing these little videos alone so that more people can know about the devotion to the Mother of Sorrows. Thank you once again. May the Lord bless you. Continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for you and your families and pray for my family because we need we need to have people praying for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.